Welcome! In this video, we will learn how to programmatically add menu links using our custom module. We're going to jump right into coding, so have the My Module project open in your code editor. Ultimately, we're going to have a link appear in our site's main menu. That link is going to direct to the simple content page we created in an earlier video. To review, at this point, you should have a working first controller with a simple content method and also a mymodule.simpleContent route defined in mymodule.routing.yaml to the simple content method. Okay, once you have achieved that, continue on to this next step. Custom links are defined in a links.menu.yaml file as configuration. Do this with me now. Create a new file in the main directory of your module called mymodule.links.menu.yml mymodule.links.menu.yml. After creating this file, type the following code as shown. As you may have realized yourself, since this is a YAML file, white space does matter. Every indent level is to be exactly two spaces. Good eye. This first line declares the configuration name of this link. Notice the name begins with the module machine name of my module and ends with the unique identifier of simple content page. The configuration name of my module dot simple content page should not exist anywhere else or you will run into unexpected behavior. The next line title is required and this text is displayed in the menu itself. Straightforward enough. Line three description is shown either as a tooltip on the menu item or in the admin UI as the description of the option on the page. The difference in achieving one of these two outcomes depends on how the link is ultimately configured. For our situation, this text will be displayed as a tooltip. Continuing on, the next line containing the route underscore name is intuitively the name of the route we defined earlier in mymodule.routing.yaml. Notice the path of the route, which remember is forward slash my custom path is not used. The route name is used. The following line, the weight, is used to determine the initial and arbitrary order in which menu items are processed and displayed. Using weight is a Drupal convention. Traditionally, weights go from negative 50 to positive 50, and weights with a smaller value are processed first. So, for instance, a menu item with a weight of negative two would be rendered before a menu item with a weight of positive 10, such as this. Note that the weight we define here initializes the menu item order, but a site editor can rearrange the order of menu items as they wish. The final line of this menu item is menu underscore name, and this determines which menu this link gets placed into. Remember, by default, Drupal provides five menus of main navigation, tools, administration, footer menu, and the user account menu. We are placing this menu item in the main menu. There are other options available for menu items, of course, including how to link to pages external from this site. Be sure to make note of the documentation provided at the end of this video for more specifics. For now, be sure to double check your code, save your file, and then head on over to your site. As you should be able to predict by now, the first thing we're gonna do is flush the cache. Upon flushing cache, we are anticipating that a new menu item will show up in the main menu. Let's do this now. Yes, fantastic, great job. Notice when we hover over the link, we see the description text of link to the simple content method as we defined. Oh yeah, clicking on the link takes us to the simple content page we developed earlier. Super works as expected. One thing I want to point out before concluding this video is that links defined by links.menu.yaml configuration 
do not allow the title nor the path of the link to be edited by content editors. Let's check that constraint out by attempting to edit the link as an admin. Click Structure, Menus, and click the Edit menu of the main navigation. Click on the Edit of the Simple Content link. As it says, this link is provided by my first custom Drupal module. module. The title and path cannot be edited. I'll let you determine the pros and cons of this behavior depending upon your situation. Before we conclude this video, I want to briefly introduce you to four common types of menu items. Let's do that now. As we get familiar with these four common menu item types, from a practical standpoint, be aware that the difference between them is minor and the use of each is situational. Be confident that you know what you need to know to define custom menu items. In the resources at the end of this video, a link is provided to each of these types for more details. The menu item we just created, mymodule.simplecontentpage, linking to the simple content page, is known as a normal menu item. A normal menu item is shown in menus and breadcrumbs. This is a link to a page, simple as that. These are always placed in the links.menu.yaml file. Then there are local task menu items. Local tasks are tabs. Local tasks are local to the displayed page and are the tabs on the top of the pages. For example, when viewing a node as an admin, several tabs are visible such as view, edit, delete, revisions, etc. Each of those tabs is a local task. Speaking broadly, local tasks are mostly used on administrative pages, but front-end pages like user pages or the registration or login or new password pages also use local tasks. Local tasks are placed in a links.task.yaml file. Another menu item type is local action. These are similar to local tasks, except local action menu items are meant to conduct an action rather than display information. As a rule of thumb, local action menu items are often rendered as a button link. An example of this is the add content link that displays on the content administration page. Local actions are placed in a links.action.yaml file. Finally, there are contextual link items. These depend upon the contextual links core module being enabled, it is by default, and contextual links are displayed when a user clicks on the gear next to an element on the page that has contextual links. For example, content will typically have a contextual menu of quick edit, edit, or delete, whereas a block will typically have a contextual menu of edit block. Contextual links are placed in the links.contextual.yaml file of your module. Great job completing the code to create menu items. At this point, by developing the code required for menu items, you have demonstrated competency in this area. To review, normal menu links are placed in the links.menu.yaml file of your module. Each link needs to have a unique name, which begins with the module name. Each menu item uses route names rather than paths. We learned that links provided by modules cannot have their title or path edited by site administrators. We also learned the four types of menu items, normal, local task, local actions, and contextual menu items. So this is it, great work so far. Be sure to check out the resources provided if you are inclined. Happy learning.